Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I have a wonderful treat for you guys. I have this wonderful oil for you. It is a blend of oils that are known to help with circulation, blood flow. Using this oil and a regular is gonna help you to be a little more active down there. It's also gonna help you to be more motivated because once the blood is flowing, it's gonna give you a better drive. And it's also, over time, it's gonna help to lengthen and also more, you know, free, flow free standing so if you're interested in this video continue watching our first ingredient is cloves and take a look at cloves up close this is what your cloves look like and here we have a single clove that's it now cloves are beneficial to men both externally and internally now you can always just put a few cloves in a teacup pour some water on hot water that is let it brew for about three to four minutes and that's how you could take clove directly now clove is very strong so once a week would be the recommended dosage no more than two to three head of cloves and that's internally now Externally is how we're going to be using it today. Our next ingredient is nutmeg, and these are nutmeg in their natural forms. Now, most people don't know them like this. They know them out of the shell, but this is what it's look like when it's in the shell. So nutmeg is good internally and externally, and also the mace is great for male activities. Now, as far as nutmeg is concerned, if you don't have the nut itself, go ahead and buy the store-bought ground nutmeg in a bottle. You can also get whole nutmeg to buy in the grocery store so these are our second ingredient our third ingredient is rosemary and once again another wonderful herb for inside and outside you can make rosemary tea just like the clove and you could actually drink that or you could just put some rosemary in your food just cook with it and if not you're gonna use it the way I'm gonna use it in this recipe now rosemary is filled with a lot of nutrients that will definitely benefit you and it also will help you to have a much more happier and much more active life now our next ingredient is grapeseed oil and I'm using 100% pure grapeseed oil now grapeseed oil is very light and it's gonna easily absorb in the skin so therefore grapeseed oil is really great for this recipe it's not gonna leave any form of a greasy feel and that's what makes it wonderful however if you do not have grapeseed oil the next alternative is coconut oil so you choose whether you want to use the grapeseed oil or you want to use the 100 percent pure virgin coconut oil now the first thing i'm going to do is to prepare the nutmeg to prepare the nutmeg you need to remove the nutmeg from the shell oh i normally just eat on the shell like this to break it it's pretty easy And here we have our nutmeg. And this is it. Now this is called the maize, which is good for a lot of medical issues also. So now I'm gonna grate the nutmeg. I actually have a nutmeg grater, but I just don't know where to find it at this time. So I'm just gonna do the entire nutmeg. Now here it is. This is our grated nutmeg, also known as ground nutmeg. Moving on to our cloves. And we're gonna use about a teaspoon of cloves. Now to prepare the cloves, you can either choose to blend or you can choose to crush. I'm going old school and I'm gonna crush. So I'm just gonna fold it in my paper towel like this and I'm just gonna crush it like that and this is good 
here we have our crush clothes. And here is our crushed cloves. So here are the ingredients. We have our nutmeg, and this is grated nutmeg. We also have our crushed cloves. We have our rosemary, and we have our grapeseed oil, and we also have our coconut oil, okay? So now we're gonna put this together. And this is our cloves, and this is about a teaspoon of crushed cloves. I'm going to use one teaspoon of rosemary. And you can choose to use either dry or fresh rosemary. And now for our nutmeg. I'm going to use one tablespoon of our nutmeg and now we're going to blend all the dry ingredient together. So you just want to blend it. Now once you have all the dry ingredient blend together, you're going to take your bottle, and this is a really big one. You don't need such a big one, but this is what I have today. And you're going to pour it in the bottle. Now this may take some time. Use a funnel. Just pour it the best way you can. And as usual, I'm going old school, so I'm just covering the bottle mouth. This is an easy way to pour things into a bottle. I'm actually using my hands to make a funnel. And you're just going to pour it down here through the funnel. Just pour it in, take your time. A little spill right there, not to worry. And that's it. This is how you get it in your bottle. Teaching you guys something, right? All right, so, reaching for our grapeseed oil. And we're gonna use about a quarter cup of grapeseed oil. I'm eyeballing it. If you're using coconut oil, go ahead and use the same amount. And next, you're gonna mix this. Just shake it like this. Once you shake it like that, it's basically ready. Make sure you have a tight cover because you're gonna cover this. You're gonna set it aside for about 48 hours. You're gonna let the ingredient infused and then you're gonna use it. Now, a wonderful way to preserve the shelf life of this, here I have an optional ingredient and this is vegetable glycerine. You could use a tablespoon of vegetable glycerine in this and you're gonna be able to keep it much longer, at least a month or so. If you do not have the vegetable glycerine, it's just as good because the shelf life of the grapeseed oil is long, so keep it for about three weeks or so. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of my vegetable glycerine in, about a tablespoon. And remember, this is an optional ingredient however the vegetable glycerine is also great 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 for moisturizing it's gonna leave that nice smooth feel to it so it's not only helping to preserve but it's also beneficial in this mixture now this is done and this is what it looks like what it smells like is Mm, a little touch of the nutmeg, nothing strong. However, after it is infused, then you're gonna totally have a different smell. Now, if you want fragrant in this, you could choose to add a little lavender oil. I know a lot of you guys don't like the lavender oil, but just for fragrant, you just had about two drops in it and it will definitely give you a nice little, you know, scent, really. Now, after 48 hours or even longer, then your oil is ready to go. Now you're gonna use this oil 
at least once per day. You're not going to only use it when you're ready for action. You're going to use it even if you're not ready for action for best results. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take a little bit of the oil. Make sure to apply it to clean skin. So you're gonna wash the area first and then pat dry and add a little bit. It is just a little touch of the oil, all right? So you're just gonna massage it and you're gonna massage it from the base all the way to the tip. Just keep massaging and while you're massaging the oil on, you're gonna make sure to press a little firmly, all right? And then you get to the base of it and you're gonna massage the base in circular motion. Now also for your double anger, you're also gonna apply this to them also and just massage it in circular motion, okay? Now you're gonna do this for about a minute and if you look at my hands you can clearly see there's no form of a grease that's the result you get from using the grapeseed oil now after applying you're gonna leave it there and you can wear it overnight you could wear it in the daytime when you're at work just apply it and leave it there give it some time to work guy not gonna work immediately but with continuous use of this you're gonna notice great results just by massaging the oil alone it's gonna give you great circulation great blood flow and when you have that great blood flow it will also give you a better performance okay so continue to use it as often as you wish and as long as you want to okay so there you have it if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to share the video and leave your comments and if this was the first time watching you want to see more of this video click on the word subscribe below and you will be subscribed also at the side there's a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as i upload a video thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video Bye bye